So I don't know if you've heard the news, but OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, just announced that they're going to be releasing a crazy text-to-video model that is super relevant to 3D because it's basically going to make everything available in 3D over time. This is the first time I've ever really felt this way about this type of technology. I've seen a lot of text-to-video type of technology, but this is the first one that's actually immediately convinced me that this is really coming. It's not just going to bring better and better text-to-2D video. It's going to make everything become available in 3D and probably even 180 degree VR, 360 3D VR. It's going to change everything and I'll explain why by taking a quick look at a OpenAI's report and then I'm going to look at some of these videos and see how they look in 3D when I convert them. First thing to say is that the video quality, how natural these look, goes beyond anything that I think we've seen from any other text to video. It's a level or two beyond everything else and it's actually a bit overwhelming because it's getting really close to what reality looks like or something that could easily have been taken on somebody's camera that is not like top quality. If you're just casually looking at one of these videos or if you saw this come across your feed on X for example, you'd be hard pressed to immediately recognize whether or not it's AI generated, if at all. But the craziest thing is if we scroll down to the bottom here, there's a lot of information about all the different capabilities but some of the crazy things include the ability to like edit a video just with a text prompt. So you have a video that you generate and you want to just change subtle things. So you type in more information to do that. It gives very, very convincing results. More than one of these videos really blew my mind when I saw them. But one of the things that stood out the most to me is the way they describe this whole simulating the real world, like with consistency. So they want this model to be able to simulate how our world actually works to make it look completely real and then understand the different physical dynamics and spatial relationships between different things, which means kind of exactly what it sounds like that the AI is going to understand where everything is in relationship to everything else. And that will mean that it could easily generate a second view or multiple views or even infinite views of a certain scene generating a 3D version of the same thing. That is definitely coming and this has convinced me that's the case. If we go down to the very bottom, you can see that just this very last part, simulating digital world. Sora is also able to simulate artificial processes. One example is video games. Sora can simultaneously control the player in Minecraft with a basic policy while also rendering the world and its dynamics in high fidelity. These capabilities suggest that continued scaling of video models is a promising path towards the development of highly capable simulators of the physical and digital world and the objects, animals, and people that live within them. I don't know what other better phrasing could be used to say that. You're basically trying to make some sort of matrix type of technology that can simulate the way our world is exactly as it is and then the way this is going with what this is already capable of just a year or so into like all this text to whatever AI hype it's insane that it's gotten so far in such a short period of time the whole world has its eyes on this type of technology so open AI is definitely not going to be the only one this seems like one breakthrough one big milestone along the way but as it keeps going it's going to get even crazier and the stuff is going to come to things like the Apple Vision Pro or the Loompad 2 3D VR it's really exciting but kind of over overwhelming at the same time because I just don't know what future awaits a year or two from now. But anyway, that's enough with this serious talk. This stuff is really cool. So to finish off, of course, I want to take a look at how this stuff looks when it's converted into 3D. But before we do that, if you're enjoying this video, please remember to give it a like and then subscribe to this channel if you want to find out more information about 3D technology, updates related to 3D, and anything like that. That is completely what I focus on on this channel. And by the way, this video is being filmed in 3D with the iPhone 15 Pro's 3D camera and I will have the 3D version available on a separate channel, experimental channel of mine that I'm going to put a link to in the description. So take a look at that video. If you want to watch this completely in 3D, you can find the 3D version there and it would be great to have your feedback about this style of videos and what type of things you might recommend with the 3D format of my videos. Just watching this, it's crazy how real some of this stuff looks in 3D. It's like doing a 3D conversion. It seriously looks borderline real, especially when I'm viewing it in 3D. Like. It looks like I'm converting a video, a real video. Like, this is just crazy to see in 3D. Like watching it in 3D this way now, it's like getting a glimpse of the future. I feel like I'm seeing what this will look like once all this stuff is available directly in 3D. It's just crazy. It looks like a real video that I've converted into 3D using Leia's AI technology. The way the animals move is so realistic and then making them do things that you wouldn't normally see just shows how powerful of a tool this is and how crazy things are gonna get. And since some of this stuff is stuff that you wouldn't normally see, seeing it in 3D, even just now using this 3D conversion technology on the LoomPad 2, it's really cool. So the Nubia Pad 3D actually in this case did a wonderful job with the 3D conversion. No surprises there because these devices are absolutely stellar 
at that, the best I've ever experienced. Just unbelievable 2D to 3D conversion. And I use it almost every day because of how good it is. But it's really the combination of all these different types of technology that brings the coolest, most exciting results. But let me know what you think in the comments about the future of 3D and everything becoming available in 3D over time. Right now it's sort of focused on type something in, get a 2D video, but that's quickly going to turn into 3D models, 3D scenes, 3D videos, VR videos. And you're not going to be able to tell the difference between what's real and what isn't. I think it's hard to deny that it's really going to be a world changing type of technology. And some of it is going to offer really beautiful 3D experiences for us to enjoy. And I personally am really looking forward to that. Curious to hear your thoughts in the comments and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.